Hi mga kawawmat! In this video, we will discuss the measures of speed. Objectives, we will define speed and we will find the average speed. So, let's have first uh, this question, which car travels faster? So, I have here car A travels 320 kilometers in 4 hours and then car B travels 333 kilometers in 4.5 hours or 4.5 hours. So, how are we going to find or to determine which car travels faster? So, to find out which car travels faster, we will find the speed at which each car travels. So, ang hahanapin natin is yung speed nila para malaman natin sinong mas mabilis or anong sasakyan ang mas mabilis. Is it car A or car B? Okay? So, for us to answer and find out which car travels faster, so discuss muna natin ang speed. So, ano ba nga ba ang speed? Ito yung dapat natin makuha para malaman natin kung anong sinong anong sasakyan ang mas mabilis. Okay? So, the speed is the rate of distance traveled per unit time. Okay? Speaking mathematically, if I have kph, that means kilometer over r. So, it means kilometer per r. Okay? And then, if I have MPS, ito, ginagamit natin to, lalo na kapag uh, bumabiyahe tayo, no? Kapag, um, uh, sin, uh, yung sa kapag bumabiyahe ka, kung ano yung dapat na uh, maximum speed, di ba sinasabi yan sa mga balita? So, ito po yun, yung kilometer per hour, meter per second. So, ito namang MPS, that means meter per second. So, ito po siya. So, Kilometer divided by R, meter divided by S, or second. Okay? And, for us to find the average speed, so we're gonna, going to um, divide the total distance traveled divided by the total time taken. So, kanina, dun sa car A and B natin, binigay yung distance na itinakbo nila, and then, yung kung ilang oras. Okay? So, for us to find out the average speed, we will be dividing the distance and the time taken. Okay? Ano ang gagamitin natin? Is it kph or mps? Or meter per second or kilometer per hour? Depende po yan sa unit na binigay sa atin. Okay? Let's have example. A horse runs 135 kilometers in 3 hours. So, you have here three questions. First, find its average speed. Number two, at this rate, how far does it run in two hours? And then for number three, how far can it run in 20 minutes? So, ito po siya. So, para makuha mo tong number two and three, dapat alam mo muna yung number one. Okay? So, yung horse daw... Um, ang na-run niya ay is 135 kilometers within. So, sa loob ng tatlong oras. Okay? So, kukunin natin ang speed. That is the uh, question number one. So, for us to find the speed, you have to divide the distance over time. Okay? So, your distance is 135 kilometers divided by 3 hours. Okay? So, therefore, we will get uh, 135 divided by 3, that is 45. Okay? So, since kilometer ito, at, and this is R, so, ibig sabihin, 45 kilometer per R. Okay? So, this is 45 kilometer per R. Now, the second question is, at this rate, so, itong rate na to, how far does it run in 2 hours? Kung ito ang tinatakbo niya sa loob ng isang oras, kasi kilometer, 45 kilometers kada oras per hour. So, 45 kilometers per hour, ilan ang gano kalayo ang itatakbo niya sa dalawang oras? So, yun ang isosolve natin. Paano mo gagawin? You just have to multiply. 
Okay? So, 45 kilometer per hour times 2, that is equal to 80 kilometers. So, this is 80 kilometers. So, ita times mo lang to siya. I, I mean, alright, so I mean 90 kilometers. Okay? So, kung 45 siya sa loob ng uh, 1 hour, Ibig sabihin, kung 2 hours, so you just have to multiply it by 2. So, 45 times 2, that is 90. Okay? And then next, um, how far can it run in 20 minutes? Now, eto so hindi pwedeng 45 times 20, hindi po ganun, okay? So, kung sa isang oras, ang tinatakbo niya ay 45 kilometers, paano, gaano kalayo ang itatakbo niya kung 20 minutes pa lang? Okay? So, how far can it run in 20 minutes? So, ang gagawin mo muna, kunin mo muna yung fractional part ng 20 minutes sa 60 minutes sa loob ng isang oras. Anong fractional part ng 20 minutes dun sa 60 minutes sa loob ng isang oras? Kasi, bakit kailangan natin kunin ito? Kasi, ito ay for 1 hour, yung 45. E, paano ka, kung hindi pa umabot ng 1 hour? Ilang kilometer siya? So, kunin muna natin. So, 20, so, kakancel natin si minutes. And then, 20 times 1, that is 20 over 60, that is 1 third. Okay? So, yung 20 minutes, 1 third siya ng 60 minutes. Ibig sabihin, um, ano siya, yung, kung 20 times 3, 60, kaya 1 third po siya. Now, nakuha mo na yung fractional part niya. So, ang gagawin natin, i-divide natin si 45 by 3. Or, pwede mo siyang i-times dyan. So, 45 times 1 third, kaya ang mangyayari niyan, division. 45 kilometers divided by 3, that is 15 kilometers. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, kung sa isang oras ay 45 kilometers, ibig sabihin, kung 20 minutes, kasi ang 20 minutes ng 60 ay divide by 3, diba? 60 divide 20, divide 3. So, 45 divided by 3, 15 kilometers. Okay? So, dapat marunong tayo. Uh, pwede mo naman tong hindi gawin kung kaya mo siyang isolve mentally. So, halimbawa, uh, sa, lo sa 60 minutes, sa loob ng isang oras, 45. Eh, 20 minutes lang. So, yung 20 minutes ay 1 third. So, 45 divided by 3. Okay? Or 60 divided by 23, kaya 45 divided by 3, 15. Okay? So, um, so, it can run to, uh, 15 kilometers in 20 minutes. I, yeah, in 20 minutes. Okay, let's have example number 2. So, a cyclist travels 100 kilometers in 5 hours. So, first question is you have to find the average speed. And then, at this rate, how far does it run in 3 hours? And then, how far can it run in 30 minutes? Okay, so hanapin muna natin yung average speed. So, always use this, this formula. So, the distance traveled divided by the time taken. So, uh, the distance traveled is 100 kilometers. And then, yung ating time taken is 5 hours. So, 100 divided by 5, that is 20 kilometer per hour. So, this is the average speed. Okay, so 100 kilometer per hour. I mean, 20 kilometers per hour. Okay, so, question number 2, at this rate, how far does it run in 3 hours? So, kung ang isang oras daw ay 20 kilometers, paano naman, ilan ang tinakbo niya kung sa loob ng tatlong oras? So, ita times lang natin yung 20 kilometers natin by 3, and that is 60 kilometers. Okay, so yun yung itinakbo niya sa loob ng 3 hours. Next. So, how far can it run in 30 minutes? So, again, kunin mo yung fractional part nito sa loob ng 60 minutes, sa loob ng 1 hour. Now, we all know na ang 30 minutes is kalahati. Tama? Kalahati siya ng isang oras. So, therefore, kung ito ang isang oras, ito ang tinakbo niya sa loob ng isang oras, kalahati lang yung 30 minutes. So, to 10 kilometer, kaya 10 kilometers lang sa loob ng 30 minutes. Okay? So, kung kaya mo siyang isolve mentally, pwede naman, ba Makukuha natin siya. So, kung sa loob ng isang oras, 20 minutes, 
e 30 minutes lang. E di ibig sabihin 10 kilometers. Okay? So, check natin. So, 30 minutes, kunin natin yung fractional part niya. That is 1 half. Okay? So, kalahati siya ng isang oras, yung 30 minutes. Now, so, ita times natin si 20 kay 1 half. So, you will have 20 divided to that is 10 kilometers. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, sa loob ng 30 minutes, 10 kilometers ang itinakbo ng cyclist. Okay. So, sige nga, balikan natin yung question natin kanina. Which car travels faster? So, ay, uh, ibig sabihin, na-discuss na natin ang pagkuha ng speed, malalaman na natin o makukuha natin ang sagot dito. So, para makuha natin ng speed, anong gagawin? I-divide natin yung ta uh, tra distance travel divided by the time taken. So, we will have... 320 divided by 4, that is 80 km per hour. Okay? For car B, we have 333 km divided by 4.5 hour. So, that is 74 km per hour. So, ibig sabihin, ito yung kanilang average speed. Ito yung bilis. So, 80 and then 74 km ang natatakbo nila. Now, which car travels faster? So, kung ito, ito ang natatakbo niya at siya ay 74, so ano ang mas mabilis? Car A travels faster since it travels at a greater speed. So, ibig sabihin, obviously, this is 80, this is only 74. So, ibig sabihin, mas mabilis po si car A. Okay, test yourself. So, I'm giving you uh, one minute to answer. And then, if the time is not enough, you may pause the video so you can have more time in answering the uh, question. Check your answers. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell para updated kayo for more video tutorials. This is your guide in learning your math lessons, your Walmart channel.